guys, so this is going to be the first in a couple of videos showing you how to do basic breakfalls and breakfalls that will sort of help improve your life, uh, let you recover from falls and hopefully help you even if you're old. Um, there's a lot of breakfalling videos on the internet but they're mostly by like parkour guys, gymnastics guys who assume that you're fairly fit already. The progressions I'm going to show today are designed so that anybody with like a reasonable degree of physical fitness can do them. Uh, you should be able to do them, but more than that, they start with the fundamentals. And the good thing about fundamentals is they work when you're under stress. So if you come flying off a motorbike at 40 miles an hour, you are going to revert to your fundamentals. So it's good to start from there, and, um, and you've got a solid base to progress to the tougher stuff. But then when you're in a situation of stress, that's what you go back to. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is a shoulder roll, which is probably the most basic, helpful breakfall you can do. Um, the, the whole idea of learning any kind of breakfall is that you, most importantly, you keep your head out of danger and you keep your sort of upper vertebrae out of danger. Uh, secondarily, you don't want to be posting limbs out to where they're going to hit the floor at a weird angle and potentially snap. So um, the difference between a classic gymnastics breakfall, which you've probably seen before, looks something like this. But the thing about that is that you're rolling all down the length of your spine and you're touching your, the back of your head. Now you can do it without doing that, but it's tough to, um, to do properly without injury and it's not the, it's not the most sort of efficient way of rolling. So what we're going to do first is a shoulder roll, which looks like this. So that's what we're going to go for now. So what we're going to do first off is we're going to start the shoulder roll from the floor. Um, the advantage of this is that it's basically impossible to injure yourself doing it and uh, so it should give you a high degree of confidence. So the easiest position to start from is just kneeling up. Leg at a nice right angle, um, back leg at another right angle ideally. Um, and then from here, you're going to, the most important thing to remember about shoulder rolling is you're going to make your arm into kind of like a wheel. Uh, you don't want it bent at a right angle, you don't want any corners on it, you certainly don't want it out of straight because then you'll just collapse onto it. What you want is a nice curve um, and a nice way to remember it is you want your thumb pointing towards you but obviously with the rest of your fingers. Um, once you've got that in place, you're going to touch that in the intersection of the line between your knee and your front foot. So. They make a right angle, that's where that hand goes. Other hand goes flat on the floor. Then all you need to do is look over your shoulder and lean forward. Ideally, you don't want to touch your head on the floor at all when you do that. Okay, so once you've got the basic shoulder roll progression worked out, you can, you can do that for a few days. Um, the main thing to remember about it, again, is you're going across your shoulder and across Imagine a diagonal line going down on your back to this hip. You're not touching your head at any time, you're not really touching your top vertebrae, you're trying to avoid touching your spine. Once you've got that down, the simplest progression is you start in exactly the same position and all you're going to do is come up on your toes and straighten your back leg. So again, you're starting here, this back leg straightens and then all you're going to do is do a roll from there. Exactly the same thing. Look over your shoulder, lean, roll. So the last progression we're going to do on this is the actual roll itself. Um, exactly the same as before, you're going to end up in the same position, uh, which is this. All you're going to do is go into it from a standing position. So you're going to step, hands, put you in the same position as if you've done this, and you're going to roll. So step, hands, Wrong. One more time, there we go. 